will disrupt too. Very good versus uh, Mystic Flare as well as Duel. Very, oh. very good. Both teams, well, skirmish. EGM may have to Roche deny. He's trying to run up the hell. No shield for eight seconds. No stuns for come with me. Needs the body blocks. He's getting them. Lucid Beam. Jams it in. Blink Dagger for my death, but this ain't gonna help. Gets last to pull back into Orion. The OD ult's ready to go. More here teleporting in. Silence onto Orion, though. Mystic Flare. And then the duel to turn this one around, but the defensive disruption. Quick to blinking in. Gets the anchor smash off. Doesn't win the duel, but does survive and gets the kill. Quick for now, tanking into Clips. Wind up going down. It's a double for Honey. It's a drive by. Spread damage. It would feel. It seems like there might be other supports that offer that. Honey. Rut row. He's got the Mask of Madness cooling down. Can he just run away in time? No, not against. Oh, that's not gonna help. Ravage the fly. Rise dodges it, but before he can even walk back in to disrupt, Honey's already dead, and he's gonna pay for it with his own life. I mean, this is a great time for Tinker to play. Oh, they're still gonna try to jump in mid, but EGM has his borrowed time ready. All that was happening, they lost their OD in the bottom lane. The Skywrath and Legion combined. EGM looking to be in trouble, though. Chased out by Come With Me and Ace, and we'll end up going down. The Blink Corporal Tiger gets off the duel. Oh, more damage into Pycat. Really solved too many problems, though. There's still the defense of Astral and Disruption. There's still the Lasso. But, uh, and the Purge as well. But they're going to go in on Ace now. Top lane, because the shot will hit him. Pycat surging. The Ravage comes through. That connects on Hani. He goes down immediately. There's a duel ready for Pycat. Is he going to use it on Come With Me? Force that. That sets up the duel. Will he get enough procs? He will. More damage. Much more needed for, and with LC being that farmed, I don't know. PKB doesn't help you split push too much. Still, they have fleet initiates. Oh no, that's all I had. But Ravage is ready. Quakefa in position. Duels Hani steals his damage. Looks for the ace kill as well. Plus one, plus 94. Already, he's nearing the three digit point. Face anyone more down here, come with me. Multicast will secure the Aegis. That's gone now, but the lose come with me as well. So it's a, a two for one if you want to count the Aegis as the one, but no gold in their uh, how, Just how effective it is, similar with Crimson Guard, but it's very, very good on paper. Okay, looking forward to it. Pycat BKB now charging in. He's got a Blink Dagger ready. Quakefa will get the gush off and arise. He does have a defensive Astral, but he was silenced. Unable to do anything. Bulbug managed to get that. Oh no, that wasn't Bulbug. Yeah, Rise will end up going down now. Okay, they're just falling apart. Laps and try to retreat out. Still caught in the same place though. Now continues to scoop. They've got a refresh already on Koikpa. Watch out. Tidehunter's gonna get aggressive here in a second. Looking for the jump in. They win a duel to start. They look for the ace follow up kill. Cancel this blink from Pycat. Five seconds to go. The Lucent Beam will come through. Boots will travel in through your Batrider. Pycat doesn't get off the duel in time. Now he gets blasted. He'll pull back into an Eclipse. But Koik was ready. Ravage number one will fly. Now they get the duel off. Ravage number two will connect. And Pycat makes short work of that first hero. He's going to look for the second to make some rise. Has the OD ultimate. And will manage to bring him down. But doesn't bring down Pycat. A three for really Disgustingly fat. He's basically a tiny at 32 minutes. And then some. He'll bring down the building there. He'll head straight towards bottom. One lane of Rax already just wiped off the face of the map. They multicast it to 1x. Not going to be nearly sufficient. Icat looks for more. Meanwhile, they lose the Batrider in the middle lane. He was trying to go for a back step. That ain't going to happen. Come duel, says Pycat. The disruption will prevent the winner, but won't prevent the kill. Pycat fights his way out. EGM popping his ultimate, keeping his team healthy during this time with that negative scepter. Tanker crushing face as Ace buys back. May die again if Koikpa wants to dive him. Pycat finds yet another kill on the other so a lot of things just didn't happen for Fnatic. Their early first 10 minutes was pretty good though. EGM with the, the manor tanking up to tier 3 while the tier 2 still being sieged out. Now they break high ground. Pycat chopping wood. Looking for an ogre here. The fuel scepter used twice. One by each team I believe. And then winner. Plus 200 damage essentially for, for Pycat at this stage. Can he actually break those? Is that 198? They're going to force that Horizon. Actually force that himself in. All right, well, that's one way to give up your life. GG. Fnatic, go out in, in style. Why does he always do Why the pause? It's the disconnect. The rise pause? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The manner, manner disconnect. <laughs> Someone will have mercy on us. It's come with me, but the struggle continues now. Team Fnatic, they started off 2-0 and in the Summit 2, and now, Ben, as they face some of the, the tougher, more established teams, they are 2-4. Tinker improving to 4-0 on the feet. To be fair, they look better than they did yesterday. Fanatic. That's true. And the day before. But, well.
still tr still trying to find that rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're really struggling. They would not be doing well if this was Guitar Hero. Let's see. What do we have next on the list today? Coming up next is going to be a oh, big one. Navi Secret Grudge.